Uh, it's me. Uh, welcome to Andrew's world. And uh, all right. Blogmas, 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 that's it. We're, we're, we're doing Blogmas, aren't we? Right, today, this isn't Slimming World friendly, it's Andrew friendly. Um, I'm going to make a salty caramel cake uh, today and I'm going to show you how to make it, hopefully. So, what we're going to start off with, I'll show you, I'll, I'll show you what we're going to use first. Um, 225 grams of self raising flour um, you want 225 grams of caster sugar either white or golden I'm using a bit of both because I'm just about run out of the white um, um, and then uh, you want four eggs you want um, 225 grams of margarine I'm using clover and vanilla essence and um, salty caramel essence uh, I'll put that in the buttercream um, I'll do a vanilla sponge to start off with um, and yeah oh, and, t oh, and um, I think it's two teaspoons or a teaspoonful of um, baking powder um, I'm going to stick some of that on top as well, but I'll show you that later. Um, that's like a, it's, what is it, Asky's Treat toffee, toffee, sauce. toffee Sauce. Yeah, and I've also got um, some, what they call it, hang on. Just wait, wait. Oh yeah. I'm trying not to interfere. Oh, they look nice. So I've got these, some salty caramel matchmakers. And I'll sprinkle them on top when I'm finished. So, so that's, Yum. so that's, yeah. So that's that's what we need. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do now, I'll I'll start slapping it all in the bowl, and then we'll, uh, we'll put it all together. Okay. So I've measured out 225 grams of uh, self-raising flour. This is the Biro Premium flour. It's been sieved for about 15 years, I think. So it's really light and fluffy. Right, um, I'm going to start off um, the um, margarine and sugar. So you want 225 grams of margarine. Next you want 225 grams of caster sugar. Got this, is, this is this um, is this is a Kenwood K mix mixer. Um, it's very good. Yes. So you've got your butter and sugar. Butter and sugar, yeah, butter and sugar in here. Um, so I'm just going to whip that up now, and um, until it's really creamy, really creamy. Get off me knob. So the margarine and sugar has been uh, mixing for about two minutes or so. Um, it's, as you can see, it's it's got a, a lighter colour, and it's it's light fat. So next, we're going to put in four eggs. Mm. Oh, I've dropped the bloody thing in! Look. Right, so I've got my four eggs in. Uh, what I tend to do is, um, you can beat it like that in, with the sugar and the margarine, but I like to put in the um, the flour as well. There's 225 grams of flour in here as well. So I'll just put a little bit in. This stops it curdling. So I'll probably put, put half that in. And then set it off. Mixer as well. Don't be frightened if you haven't got a what do you call this proper food mixer. Yeah. Um, and also, what temperature are you heating your oven? 
one uh, forty uh, normal oven, one sixty fan. Oh, other way around, wouldn't it be? Slower for fan. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, one forty. Yeah, one sixty normal oven and one forty fan. Yeah. That's so it. that's the rest of the um, flour in. Mm. Right, so it's mixed all in now, all the flour's mixed in. I'm going to add some um, vanilla extract in, so about probably six, six drops in. That's a good tablespoon, maybe. And a final mix. Final mix, yeah. Right, so there you go, it's all mixed up. Look at that. Very light and airy. That's how it should. It should just like that. A bit like sort of half melted ice cream. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Right. I'm going to stick it in a two pound loaf tin size thingy. So, um, this is just basically, I would normally put them in normal 7 inch, 2 7 inch round cake tins like that, where are we, yeah, like that, that will fill those two, but I'm going to put it into that. And that'll be a bit left over. So there'll be a bit left over, and I'll decide where I'm going to stick that, yeah, but we'll see what's left over first. So I'm going to put that in, into there. Oh, I've lined this tin as well with um, parchment. Yeah. I've actually fit the whole mixture in the tin. I'm just smoothing out the top with a pallet knife. He is making this for people at work, so unfortunately I won't get any because the, there wasn't any leftover mixture. It's a shame, isn't it? Because it's some at this side would only be about three or four sins. So, right, so the cake mixture's in now. Um, because the original recipe, I think it was 30 35 minutes. Um, for the two cake tins. This might take quite a bit longer because of the, how deep it is. Um, I'll say 35 to 40 minutes, but if it's any more, I'll let you know when it's done. And at 160. This is at 160, yeah, 160, yeah. So yeah. we'll see you in a bit. You will. Right, it's it just come out. Uh, it's actually took an hour, best part of an hour, um, I've, I've been testing it for the last 15 minutes but it wasn't quite ready so I've been using my skewer uh, obviously if it comes out clean you know it's ready but it was still coming out a little bit a bit sticky so um, it's only it's only just what well, yeah just under an hour I think it took and uh, so I'll just leave it to cool now and um, what did you do about with about 15 minutes left um, I just covered the top with um, some parchment paper. Yeah. Um, so I didn't want it to to burn. Because the longer you have a sponge in in the uh, oven, the more chance that you, you're going to get some some burning. So I just put some parchment over it like that. Um, and it stops the top from colouring too. Yeah, it still obviously it still bakes, but it stops it um, catching as well. So yeah, if you just leave that to cool, and then we'll show you how we're going to fill it and top it. Mashing. Oh. Right, uh, the cake's cooled enough. It's not completely cold, but it's cooled enough. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm, sli I'm going to slice this dome off. Just so it's nice and flat. I've got this tool, you can get them smaller, but it's basically a piece of wire mm. and it's, it just makes 
uh, slicing, slicing um, cakes in, ha in, in half. It just makes it, if you, I mean, you can do it with a knife mm. if you feel confident enough, but using a tool like this, it uh, just makes life easier. It's all about making life easier. So, so you just run it backwards and forwards. And what do you do with that top bit once you've sliced it off? That goes in the bin. Do you not eat it? I might try it just to see if it's all right. So we've now got a lovely flat surface to um, top it. Um, right, so I've um, I've cut my cakes, um, so they're all. Um, um, I've cut my cakes, so um, I'm going to do the buttercream now. Um, going to have 300 grams of icing sugar, sifted, and 125 grams of margarine or butter. So we've got the icing sugar and butter in the mixer. We've got the salted caramel flavouring ready to add. And we're just gonna mix it now. That's a cake. That's the kind of consistency you want. Yeah, so that's that there you go. Look. Look at that. So if it's not quite right with then keep adding either keep adding more icing sugar to get a thicker consistency. And also you might need to add a little bit more salted caramel for the flavour. You will, yeah. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting I've cut these in, into into three. Um so I'll just put um, a dollop in each, and then I'll uh, I'll spread it out. No, you won't need three. Yeah. Well, yeah, I will. But... No. Yeah. Well, oh, you'll need you'll need three one for the top. Yeah. Oh, do you know? Well, you have gotta keep him on the right track, can't you? No. then we'll just spread those out with a palette knife. Yeah, we will, won't we? And half of it ends up in your mouth if you're anything like me. Nobody's like you. A good tip before finally decorating is to put it on the plate or container where you want it, want to display it. So Andrew's obviously taking this to work, so he's putting it into a Tupperware or the lid of a Tupperware. That's the first two layers. And the final layer. So now we'll find out what's going on the top layer. It smells delicious. More buttercream for the top. Quite a thick layer. 
Vi får en tage stjerne lige. Mm. Det er lidt om, hvor man kører der aktier med nu. Vi smører ud der. Nå, vi kan ikke tage en tabo. Mm, you'll just have to go back all old fashioned. Just making slight peaks in the icing, in the buttercream, with the palette knife. Who wants a slice of this? Hands up. You want to take a few of your salted caramel match matchmakers? You do. And what have you got in your hand? Uh, this is called a knife. Well, what do you do with your knife? I'm just going to go and break them all. Like that, you see. Wrinkle them on. Last bit of decoration is the um, toffee treat sauce. Just show them the packet again. There you go. Something like that drizzled over the top of the cake. So here we go. That's the uh, that's the finished cake. That's salty caramel, um, salty caramel cake. Yeah, um, with salty caramel matchmakers and toffee sauce. Um, there you go. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you you'll make it. Maybe not because it's uh, I know you're all. Uh, you're all slimming, aren't you? So, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching it anyway, and I'll see you again soon.